Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's me, Soul Supreme, and well, welcome to something new on the channel. Well, Robocop inspired me. <laughs> it was a, it certainly, uh, believe it or not, I'm not saying this as a joke or to take the shit out of the game because I know I'm still uploading it. Uh, I finished it by the time you see this, um, but the uploads will probably still be up, but Robocop was, I'm not even joking, or taking the piss out of the game. It's one of the most fun games I played all year. Like, you know, we have Baldi's Gate 3, we've got like uh, all these like fancy titles like coming out in between. Hell, I've even started to get back into ARC. I'm also playing a little bit of the new Call to Arms DLC. But Robocop, that game surprised me. I actually had a really fun time playing it. And I was like, you know what? I wonder what other first person um, shooters I had. And, you know, I had this on my wish list for a while. I managed to snag it when it was just about half price. I think it was like, what, 45% off, I think, somewhere around that ballpark. And um, I completely blind. All I know is that it's from. Long ago, it's basically in my head Bioshock, but in like a Soviet punk universe, Russia thing. I have no idea. I haven't looked at anything, haven't seen no gameplay, so I'm going into this completely blind, which I like. So let us go to Atomic Car. And if anything, like this is my first time actually pressing new game. If anything bugs out or looks really crappy, I'll go adjust some settings. But let's shut up hit new game all right what is this um is this the difficulty we are pleased to welcome you on an easy sightseeing tour of facility 3826 comrade spectacular dynamic battles with robots won't take much uh too much effort or distract you from the narrative of course you'll still have to fight but only the plot will keep you on your toes local malfunction do you like to overcome difficulties that's admirable we'll leave you to it there's no walk in the park some combat situations may seem difficult and objectives will require know-how, but you can always be inspired by a sense of your own superiority. Hmm. Um, oh my. Uh, Armageddon, do you have a vivid imagination and dark thoughts? What can you do? That's just how it is. Buckle up, but real nightmares in store. You'll need experience, reaction speed, and the skills to properly manage your resources to survive. Always keep one in reserve for yourself. So I'm assuming easy, normal, hard. Um. Hmm. Well, you know what? I guess we could do local malfunction. Eh, I have no idea. I have. It basically was like you know, you know, you know. Boop boop boop. All right. Gonna play a cussing. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Jumping right in. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chelemay City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds. Uh, before I, uh, is it just me or is it, uh, really low? Yeah, everything's maxed out. Uh, hmm, is this just my, oh, it's my actual headphones. God, okay. Change music for stream remote. All right, here. Do that, uh, Casey. Copyright was built in 1950, leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. A German SSR, my you god, you have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. My Crusader Kings, alt history has failed, communism has taken over. You care for some more soda, comrade? Uh, wait. Uh, sure. Sure, thanks. I'll take the soda, comrade Buck. Yeah. 
game does look pretty. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. Yeah, that a pig? What in the name of Bolshevism is going on? What's up with your Vovas box on that capitalist pig? What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Whoa. I wonder what that says. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Wonder how everything's all gonna go to hell. <laughs> oh, that's a super juggler. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You dickhead. Okay. All right, uh, we're in game mode. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director General of say? Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov. Uh oh. Uh oh. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Uh, okay. So, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn, that's a lot of time to kill. Yeah, what in the hell? What's new in robotics? The way things are going, in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. character has, like, little subtle lies. What can you tell me about <laughs> gunsmithing? <laughs> I'm asking, as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems, something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase I'll power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? 
case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. What? Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it Good day, comrade. Come closer. Okay. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Uh oh. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? Who's that? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. Hmm. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Uh, okay. Uh. All right, then. I wonder if it's gonna bite me in the ass later. It's just a few days until the new collective comes on. Imagine that. Oh, we got the first Pokeball. Pokey suction cup. Uh Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Uh, okay. Hey, you. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead. Since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting artificial librarian and educationist. That thing will probe your anus. It just looks like it. It doesn't even play games. It's the new dress you're wearing, sweetheart. The sun just loves it. Ooh. Beautiful, isn't it? I was saving it for today. It's beautiful because you're wearing it, Xenia. You're Ooh. a doll. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> and the wind is so nice and gentle. I feel like it's caressing my hair, just like the day we met. Ooh. We'll have many more days like this. You'll see. You guys are about to die. Uh. Whoa. Hmm. Actually, you kind of want to, uh, yeah, boost this up. Not that much. I don't want to have to boost up my own mouse thing. Okay, there we go. Hello. What do you have? Oh, a fudge pop. Man, your eyes make you look like you have no soul. You're just biting into this. I'm surprised you don't have a brain freeze. Uh, that is littering. Like a real one, except you don't need to take it to a vet and it won't get old. You know what? That's actually a great idea. Yeah, and I'd call her Lassie. Ah. That bot is the real deal. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What a nice folk dance. It's so lively. Everything is like going on over here. Amba Jamba, Kitty Pie. Oh, it's like there's uh one statue. Um. Oh, I got I can't go over there. Oh, they're having a parade. Holy criminy crew! I am definitely in the Soviet Union. <laughs> Yeah, I, you, these things have like such soulless faces. Seems so happy and content. 
just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. You're gonna be like a... So there's, there's the man himself. There's the... Is uh, the big head version. <laughs> hmm. Hey. Slow down, son. Slow down. This is like the little World War Two, um, Royal have at like I'm gonna say like I can't remember if it's like Stalingrad or Leningrad stay here Boba I'll go by myself me and the guys need to talk about this well hello there my friends huh. I kept you safe from bullets but not the fascist plague so here I am the last one. hey Slavka, today's your birthday. Actually, this is sad. And you thought I'd forget? I never forget. Glory to our fallen heroes. You have our eternal gratitude, my friends. Thank you. This makes me sad. That's right, Vova. Never forget. Never forget anyone. This is a historic spot. You fought in the war, Comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since 36, I got injured. 36. It's like there's something 37. stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Uh... Crispy Critters, man. Fuck. Wait. Wait, did this translate? Oh, it did. A pivotal mo- Oh, it does translate. Comrade Sessionov develops the polymers, a scientific miracle that determines the future course of human civilization in the Soviet Union and abroad. Pivotal moment, uh, that a pivotal, uh, pivotal moment in the history of science and technology. The greatest minds in the Soviet Union, all of them outstanding scientists, including comrades uh, Vavilov, Zakharov, uh, well, the, all those named individuals, join forces, forming a scientific group that lays the foundation for astonishing scientific and technological advancement in the USSR and beyond. Hmm. Comrades Sheshanov and Filomenko create the first Soviet polymer-based hydrogen cell. From this moment on, the future of Soviet robotics takes on global importance. Realizing that its fall is inevitable, the Third Reich strikes a terrible and shameful inhuman blow against all of mankind. The enemy unleashes a deadly virus called the Brown Plague into the world. The disease kills with incredible speed. There is no salvation from the monstrous pandemic and existing drugs are powerless against it. Oh, so in this uh, universe, the Nazis actually created a uh, Corona 8.0, the redemption years. And what's this? A worldwide state-sponsored program of industrial and economic development is launched in the Soviet Union. The pride of Soviet science is created. Facility 3826, the apex of scientific progress in the home of the greatest scientists in the world. Uh, the collective 1.0 neural network is successfully launched at Facility 3826, the world's first global network. It brings together all of mankind's greatest achievements. And then, an unbelievable scientific breakthrough for the Soviet Union. Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin is the first man to fly into space. Huh. Interesting tidbits. And I'm, I'm actually slowing the pace down by not going. <laughs> but I'm looking around. It's like little neat uh, things going about. Okay, that thing is obviously going to try to kill us later. Hello, probe, probots. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. 
the birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Mm -hmm. Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Skip the Your foreplay? Your particular case Gross. definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade mm. Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your eminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. All right. Inject it. I think it's gonna. Uh. This looks like an ass doing that. <laughs> Again with the littering. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> okay, who left it all to use your scanner? Demon, be gone. <laughs> okay. For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking. But basically, yeah. you gotta give the loser symbol to people. In a hurry just a moment ago. So you can trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Okay, so I guess. Uh, I mean, I could see through walls and stuff. Um, doesn't really highlight anything specifically. Hello. Yeah, these things are gonna come to kill me. If I ever saw something like this running at me in real life, I would be screaming my ass off. I know I'm gonna scream my ass off in this game. I know something something's gonna scare me. Uh... Okay. Hello. Welcome, comrade. That's some interesting art you got there. You like it? They were made by robots for this festive occasion. Hmm. I, I figured they were drawn by humans. Oh, wonderful. That means we have successfully imitated the output of a human art club. Thank you for the compliment. May I be of service? Uh... You're celebrating too? Naturally, we are part of Collective 2. For us robots, universal polymerization is our goal. Our duty, even our feet of labor. Would you like me to explain in more detail? No, no, thanks yeah. anyway. I'm in a hurry. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we're going we're getting through the world building part. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Hmm. Game saved. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Oh. Welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the grid. 
greatest events in the history of man's time. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will finally change the world. Whoa! All the Soviet republics are here. No, I'm not exaggerating. Report to the lobby of that high rise at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last. So glad to see you're taking it easy, robots. Comrade Major. Human. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access and code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not to leave. I'm not gonna lie. I These locations look good. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. And this, this whole world looks cool. Uh, human beings to be in the center of collective 2.0. Oh, this is an elevator. <laughs> you guys have elevator chairs? The Soviets have truly surpassed everything in America. Elevator chairs. Honestly, I would love to have elevator chairs. This actually looks like an Apple commercial. <laughs> Some communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master <laughs> quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your first. Hey. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. What the hell? There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Oh damn! Wait, these are actual. <laughs> vehicle activation code, comrade major. Ah. Uh. Is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. That's got some thick bots. What the hell? Get in the turbo. Okay. Oh, damn. You guys are tall too. Thick bots. Uh. Okay. Uh. Bye, thick bots. Uh. Oh, go back down. <laughs> We had to go up to get the key. Off here. <laughs> Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions this looks were described trippy. long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. Mm. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. I'm not gonna lie, like the whole set pieces in the world looks awesome. Oh, and this translates to our leader brought us all together and now he's showing us the way. Father and son, daughter and mother, 
We all sing his praises every day. It's kind of weird. It only does that, like, if I move, okay, so maybe I, I just have to lock onto it. Like, just stare at it. Oh, okay. Thanks, we gotta get in the car. Achievement unlock, fly out of Colony. I got two bones, one for the plug and one for the load. <laughs> Are we gonna drive? Um, Caterpillar bot? Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Uh, what? Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 yeah, with parades in it. every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. We, 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 what happened to America? Said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. So the cars don't drive. We have caterpillar bots. Basically caterpillar bots that fly. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Whoa. Don't you oh, so we're in this guy. Too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody Jesus Christ, that anyway, is bright. Why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? I call them caterpillars. <laughs> Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, comrade major. Why don't you worry about your mission and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything <laughs> here you haven't seen yet? <laughs> I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Yeah, so far, like, the main character, he had little tidbits of information, but half his dialogue is him bitching at his glove? And <laughs> yeah, this thing is big as hell if it's, like, this giant statue. Holy crap. I know they have like a statue that looks like that in real life. That is like I think the largest statue in the world. I think that's like in Russia. Uh, Cause I'm free, free falling. Yeah, yeah, gonna die. Carried by a caterpillar this in the is sky. Oh, never mind. <laughs> audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimate okay, Gabe, you you look awesome. Like holy crap. Outside temperature 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. 
This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Up, Bert. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by oh, the these various complexes. I have a feeling we're going to visit all these zones. Node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing Whoa, this is the Amazon factory? Orders per hour. Oh, quite literally. Right. Soviet Union. Directly uh -huh. below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control. Oh uh, yeah, for this those big known. things, big daddies. Yep. We are currently flying over some. All I know is that in this game, I'm gonna be shooting stuff. So. <laughs> Everything I see, I feel I'm gonna be well shooting. As friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing it's... Oh. Major, the drove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. Okay. What the hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling. Okay, I guess all hell just broke loose. Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, comrade major. I'm falling. What the shit? Uh. Uh, <laughs> what? That, I guess that's the end of the game. Who say we never learn to live this way? Pick <laughs> mm. up Booker DeWitt. You have a debt to repay.
My head's killing me. Ugh. Well, <laughs> um, what? Okay, we could do that. Yep. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. <clears throat> Petrov has the access the fuck? codes for the hub. What the fuck? Did I get attacked by a chicken? And bring him to me alive. Copy that. Communism. Viktor Petrov will be successful. Him and bring him to you. Exactly. I know I'm not crazy. I think I actually got hit by a chicken. Not to believe in the broker's struggle, comrade. Yeah. You are protected by the shield of capitalism. The hell am I talking about? I don't know. Yeah, I... I took damage from that. Hello. Oh. Hey, baby. Okay, you guys don't look friendly. Ugh. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so this is how you do. Oh. Okay. Eh. Right, it looks like I just whack the hell out of you. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. Yeah, it looks like everything here hurts. I don't trust the I got attacked by a chicken. Um what the what, what the fuck? Uh is that like an I have no idea. Um uh, I'm scared. Okay. Um. Shit. Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Come on! Anybody! I hey, you! I'm coming! Me. You alive in there? That's a robot. They've been burying Shit's people in there. Get away from me! Oh my goodness! Oh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! Well. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. No, oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. 
What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. Uh. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Basically. Shit. It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 Son seconds. Of a bitch. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. Okay. I can't get behind that. <laughs> no good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. Riding my ass for two days now. What the hell? Eat shit and die. Shit. Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Him. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! Oh my god. Well, Granny gives no fucks. Uh. Goddamn clusterfuck. Yeah, uh, this game went from literally zero to a thousand in a heartbeat. Um, I'm actually gonna make this segment a little bit shorter. I think I'm gonna shoot probably for roughly just about under an hour or roughly around an hour long video. So, hope you guys enjoyed this first segment for what it's worth. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And when we return, we're actually gonna get into the thick of things. So supreme. And have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.